Hello. We've been looking together for the last few days at Psalms 120 and we'll finish Psalm 134. And they are songs called, each one, a song of ascents. And they were sung as pilgrims ascended to Jerusalem. They went up to Jerusalem, the great festivals. Also, it's quite possible, according to Jewish tradition, that they ascended the temple steps from an outer court to an inner court. 15 steps, 15 psalms, one psalm per step. And I don't know about you, but I've been incredibly struck by the great variety of psalms that there are. There's been psalms of longing, psalms of need, psalms of commitment, psalms of recalling joy, psalms at a national level or an individual level. There have been all sorts of things, but all of them have been held together by the psalmist's focus on God. Each psalmist has focused on God, talked of looking towards God or being in the throne room of God or turning to God in times of need or plenty. And this psalm today is a psalm about walking with God. So Psalm 128 a song of ascents. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. You will eat the fruit of your labour. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your sons will be like olive shoots around your table. Thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem and may you live to see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. So this is a psalm of trust that walking with the Lord will bring blessing. But it's not a general kind of blessing. You'll feel good. It's a very particular kind of blessing. It's a blessing of fruitfulness and non-futility in your own life. So in your work life, in agricultural societies, the work given is agriculture. And this was an agricultural society. So he talks here about you will eating, you will eat the fruit of your labor. And it was a very real possibility that the farmers would put in all the work and then someone would steal their fruit or a blight or a disease would come or an insect would come and take the fruit away and the work would be futile. But the psalmist here is saying that those who walk with the Lord will be blessed in being able to enjoy the fruit of their labour. But on top of that, the, the, the psalmist takes the idea of a garden and says it's even more intimate than that. He takes it from the land into the house. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. And then even more particular than that, round the table. Your sons will be like olive shoots round the table. All of them blessed with this fruitfulness. All of them blessed with this non-futility. The things they do will be a blessing. The things they do will be fruitful. Thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. Now, of course, the idea of a garden has a, a particular uh, resonance. The idea of fruitfulness and beauty is wonderful. But there's another idea within uh, the idea of a garden, and that that is that not everything is equally fruitful all the time. So there are times within a household or within work or within family where things are not super prosperous, where there are difficulties. But what the psalmist is singing about here is that the Lord's blessing will continue feeding and nourishing that garden of our lives. It's God's intention that we should experience harmony and fruitfulness and non-futility within our lives. That's one thing that really interests him. So at the end of the psalm, there is a blessing given. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem 
May you live to see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. But when he's saying, may the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life, it's not a general well-being. The blessing is experienced within the life of the person walking with God. Their family and their work lives are where the blessing is experienced. So with that thought, let's pray the prayer for peace for today and protection from enemies and also pray the prayer of collect of walking with God aright or the collect for grace sorry so first of all the collect the prayer for peace O oh God who is the author of peace and lover of concord in knowledge of whom stands our eternal life whose service is perfect freedom Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Prayer for Grace O Lord our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, Defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 